Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Plural Site Author, MVP, Shishok Corner. Many students are asking me a question, why we need to learn Xamarin and what is Xamarin? So in this video, I will explain in detail what is Xamarin. So when we consider about the mobile application development, we have three different approaches. First silo approach, second black box approach, third Xamarin approach. First let us understand about the silo approach. It is the native approach of developing the mobile applications that is Android application development using Java, iOS application development using Objective C++ or Swift and Windows mobile development using C Sharp. Many developers follow Silo approach for developing the mobile applications. Let us understand the pros and cons of Silo approach. Since we will be developing the mobile application using their native technology and language, we can build great applications and can deliver to the user's platform. Each and every concept supported by the platform can be used within the application development. But if you remember the Silo approach, we use Java for Android application development, Swift or Objective C++ for iOS development, and C Sharp for Windows mobile development. As a result, we require multiple teams that is one Android team for Android application development, one iOS team for iOS application development, and one more .NET team for the Windows mobile development. Since the languages used for developing the applications for these platforms are different, we need to write multiple code bases. As we require multiple teams and resources, the product cost will also increase and the application development cost will become very expensive. Since multiple teams, multiple code bases are required for developing the applications for all the platforms, naturally the overall development process will also become slow. Now let us understand the black box approach. Many a times this approach is also popularly called as hybrid mobile application development. In this model, we will be using the existing web technologies such as HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, PhoneGap and so on for developing the mobile applications. Now let us understand its pros and cons. When it comes to the pros, the first advantage we get is since we use the existing web technologies such as HTML5, CSS, jQuery, Bootstrap, etc. The development process will be very faster. The next advantage we get is since we will be using the web technologies for developing mobile applications, learning curve will also be greatly reduced. But when it comes to the problems, performance will be very slow. We know that whenever we develop a web application using jQuery, if we require any plugin or widgets to use, we need to include lots of scripts and style sheets, which increases the page size and the loading of the page will also be slow. Black box approach may be used for small mobile applications. But for enterprise level mobile applications, this approach will not be suitable. Since we use web technologies for mobile development, the application look and feel will be responsive, but we won't be getting the native look and feel of the platform. And finally, when it comes to the Xamarin approach, Xamarin supports two types of application development models. First, Xamarin traditional application development. Second, cross-platform mobile application development.
Now let us first understand Xamarin traditional application development model. We know that whenever we have a requirement for developing the applications for the Android, iOS and also for the Windows platforms, the UI will be platform specific. But the business logic or the functionalities which is required for the application remain same for all the platforms. And hence when we use Xamarin traditional approach, we don't have to write multiple code bases. Instead, we can write a single shade C sharp business logic which can be used for all the platforms app development. In Xamarin traditional approach, we need to build separate UI for the Android, UI for the iOS and also separate UI for the Windows mobile. And in order to provide the native UI for the Android applications, Xamarin has introduced Xamarin Android, where Xamarin Android allows us to create native Android applications using the same UI controls we would use in Java. But the difference is we get the advantage of the flexibility and elegance of a modern language shisha. The power of the .NET base class library, which means that we can use everything what Java developers can use for developing Android app development Additionally, we can use the .NET base class library also to achieve the task. For example, in order to interact with a local database, we can use SQLite open helpers similar to Java developers or we can also use ADO.NET for interacting with the local database. Xamarin provides Xamarin iOS which allows the developers to create native iOS applications using the same UI controls that are available in Objective-C++ or Xcode. Expect with the flexibility and elegance of modern language c -sharp. the power of the .NET base class library BCL. Xamarin traditional approach doesn't support Windows mobile development. But whatever the code we have written in C Sharp as native portable class library that can be consumed from the universal Windows platforms applications. Now let us understand the pros and cons of Xamarin traditional application development. When it comes to the pros, the first advantage we get is Great applications can be built using Xamarin traditional application development model. Because Xamarin Android provides a complete wrapper classes for all the APIs which are used by the Java developers while developing Android applications. And Xamarin iOS provides a complete wrappers for all the APIs which are used by the Objective C++ or Swift developers. As a result, if we can develop something in Android using Java and something in iOS using Objective C++ or Swift, then the same something we can develop using Xamarin Android and Xamarin iOS using C Sharp. Since we use C Sharp as the language for developing the applications, learning curve will be greatly reduced. When it comes to the cons, we need to have some basic idea on the native platform. At least we need to have a basic idea how an Android mobile or iOS mobile functions. Business logic for the Android and iOS can be shared. But the UI has to be created separately for Android using Xamarin Android and UI has to be separately created for iOS using Xamarin iOS. Now let us understand the second Xamarin approach that is cross-platform mobile app development. In this approach, we don't have to create a separate UI for the Android using Xamarin Android or we don't have to create a separate UI for the iOS using Xamarin iOS or separate UI for the Windows using UWP. 
Since the business logic for the applications irrespective of the platform remains the same, we have the shared c -sharp business logic and instead of providing separate UI for the Android, iOS and Windows platforms, we use Xamarin Forms where Xamarin Forms is a cross-platform UI toolkit that allows developers to easily create native user interface layouts that can be shared across Android, iOS and Windows Phone. Now the important point we need to remember here is we are going to write the business logic once and also we will design the user interface once and the result of Xamarin Forms will be the native apps for the Android, iOS and Windows platforms. Now let us understand the pros and cons of the cross-platform mobile application development. In the silo approach, we need to have multiple teams, multiple code bases for developing the applications. Whereas when we use mobile development using Xamarin Forms, both business logic and UI can be shared. And hence we require single team, single code base and hence the development time will be reduced, cost of the product will also be reduced. And the most important point we need to remember in Xamarin Forms is we are going to develop the native apps. So if that is the case, then why don't we use Xamarin Forms itself? Why we need Xamarin traditional application development model also? I will explain about this point in detail in my next video. But to understand the limitations of Xamarin Forms, Whenever we have to perform any platform specific activities, as of now, Xamarin Forms is limited in capabilities. So it will be difficult to implement. I don't say we cannot use any platform specific code in Xamarin Forms. Since the capabilities are limited, it will be difficult to implement. And when we compare the performance of the Xamarin Forms application, it will be slightly slow when compared with the native app development. But we can follow some performance improvisation steps to overcome this limitation also. Since we can develop the native enterprise mobile applications for all the platforms quicker, easier and most importantly free, it is a good time for everyone to start learning Xamarin. Hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed in preparing this video. If you like this video, give a like and subscribe my channel. It encourages me to produce more videos. And if you want to communicate with me, leave a comment or contact me from the below details. Happy programming.